Hello everybody, welcome to my review of King Richard the Movie. Just got back from watching it, starring Will Smith as King Richard, Richard Williams, the father of Venus and Serena, and I think quite a few other people. Um, but like I said, typically getting pretty used to doing these reviews. What I'll do is I'll just give you my plot synopsis, talk about some major themes of the movie, and then I'll give you my overall ranking. And just again pulling up the character list. Should have done this before, like I always said, I'm going to, and then I don't do it. But you have Will Smith as Richard Williams. Um, in the middle, I'll just go through it as the characters come up. Right at the beginning, you're introduced to Demi Singleton as Serena Williams, Sanaya Sidney as Venus Williams, Brandy Williams, I think, is the mother. On Janui, Om Janui Ellis, don't know how to pronounce your name, sorry. Um, and you're kind of, those, those are the ones I think you're pretty much uh, like introduced to at the beginning. The movie starts out right away, King Richard, Will Smith is going around trying to get tennis coaches for Venus and Serena. He's got a 78 page plan that he's had written down before they were born, going to different tennis coaches, because they're, they're poor, so they don't have a, a, the trying to figure out the economics to how do we support tennis stars. So, right at the beginning of the movie, Will Smith is going around looking for tennis coaches for Venus and Serena and getting a lot of no's. Oh, you're, you think you got the next Mozart? That's not likely. This is not likely. That's not likely. He gets a bunch of no's. And so they're just playing. And they're at this time, they're practicing. They're from Compton, California. The setting is, again, in the movies. They start out at like Venus, I think it's 11 at the beginning of the movie. So I don't know, like the 80s, again, like just not really crime, no, no real crime drama in this one. But like the 80s time, there's race relations, there's tensions, there's Will Smith wanting to keep his daughters off of, off of the streets by tennis. Going around to get a bunch of tennis coaches, they all say no. And so they're practicing at this court in Compton, California. And it's just again a, a not a very good tennis court, and they keep talking about how they need better better set up to, to progress Venus and Serena. There's a again a very brief gang interaction at the very beginning of the movie. There's some some dudes. Venus and Serena have an older sister, Tundi. Uh, where was who was played that by? Don't even see her on the character list, so I don't know who I missed there. But whoever plays Tundi, the old, the oldest sister of the Williams sisters, and she's 16 at the time, and some dudes start catcalling her. Clearly, gang bangers or gang affiliates or tough guys around the neighborhood. Will Smith's not having it. He talks back to the the head honcho, the jefe, whoever. He gets punched in the stomach, gets roughed up a little bit, gun to the head, blah. And this is all at the beginning of the movie. And again, this is just at the tennis court that they practice at, and Will Smith is trying to defend his daughter from getting catcalled by a gangbanger. Nothing really happens there. Gangbangers leave. Um, the the and then Venus Venus the whole Williams family is out to eat, and Will Smith is like, you know, uh, and he, he's a, in the movie he's an armed security guard. He's like, you know, they're out to eat. He's like, I'm going to go do something or handle something. Clearly goes, gets his gun. He's going to shoot, or I, I to get it, could confront or shoot the guy who assaulted him. And he gets assaulted once or twice. I think just once at the beginning. But what happens is, is some other, like literally Will Smith is going to cro parks his van. They have this like big jolly wagon type of van. And they go, he's getting out of his van, going across the street. When another bunch of and this dude's with like three or four of his homies, another another group of gang or gang bangers drive by and do a drive by and kill one of the dudes from the, the first gang that roughed up Will Smith. And so again, he might have gotten roughed up once or twice, but that's kind of like the only really like gang or any violence in this movie at all. I think it's PG-13. We get into obviously it's about tennis drama sport is the category, and so they deal with the gangbangers kind of. Will Smith is continuing to go out, out and about looking for um, coaches. He takes it to... 
I'm not sure. There's two people that played Paul Cohen. That's interesting. But he gets he gets an initial coaching, and I'm not I'm not even I can't even recognize the characters from just like the actual people. <laughs> but um, he, he he gets he basically just you know some guys training John John McNamara and Pete Sampras and Will Smith. You know, hey hey, here's my daughters. And the guys like ah, I don't have any time for this. He's like oh no 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 no. You know, the very persistent. You know, I'm going to introduce you to my tennis stars. The the coach gives the, him the okay to, to hit some balls. The the initial coach is very impressed and agrees to take on Serena Williams for an unpaid uh, training. He's like sports again. Like my, my my business partner is a sports agent, but this typical business structure of sports agents is they they take on the initial risk of you know dealing with athletes and then they get some sort of percentage of their lifetime earnings. I'll talk about like the business economics of sports in a bit. They so they start practicing, but it's only Venus. And it, it's about Venus and Serena, but the main character I would say is the Venus character, the the demi sing, singleton. And so she starts training with one of the one of the coaches. I think it's I can't remember if it's Paul or Rick or whoever, but it doesn't matter. And they start playing junior tournaments. The structure of tennis: go play a bunch of junior tournaments, win some. And they talk about again some other just probably real real life female tennis players. Don't remember the names. You know, you can get two million dollars. One of the one of the girls gets two million dollars before she just as a junior before she ever played a professional game. And so they kind of do that. And this whole time, uh, King Richard Will Smith is like, again at the very beginning, it's just all about hard work. If you don't plan to train, if you don't tr plan to train, plan to fail or something. Or there's a tagline in there, but um, and so he's really like, let's go, let's go, let's go, and then they start winning. Serena goes 63 and 0, and then in the juniors, and then he kind of cuts ties with the first uh, uh, tennis coach and says, you know, we'll take it from here. After dealing with God, I can't even recognize some of these people. But Dylan McDermott, I recognized him as Will Hodges. He met, with a first trainer, they get some interest about you know having an agent, hundred thousand dollar up front, you know, cost for a year or something, just rackets, shoes, whatever. He you know, just trying trying to build his intense career. Will Smith shuts that down. In the actual movie, he just they offer it, they give him an offer, and he just farts <laughs> and walks away. So they were clearly really liking that offer. And I'll give you my so that again I don't like the the, the st I'll go through the characters but the stubbornness again the emotionality again it's just a little off I, I I'm ranking this one a good one but I just again the stubbornness as as a, as again like the the dad that's going to teach you to do whatever in sports it's like whoever's the best at whatever they're doing is going to that's who's going to be the one you want to learn from big thing in the movie like keep your stance open. And as somebody who has practiced lots of sports, I don't think practice mattering that much. Well, it does, but your coordination matters. And so people be able to do this, do that. You still have to execute something. It doesn't matter what the fuck they say. So obviously there's technique, but again, it just it struck me as a little goofy from going from the, the, the father with the 78-page plan to farting in front of the fucking any offer at all at this point. And they're still in California. Um, so they drop that that tennis pro and they kind of start looking for you know another tennis pro or basically the rationale is Will Smith doesn't want he wants his daughters to be educated get good grades go to school blah 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 the initial kind of things in Compton they have a neighbor that's a lady across the street that's very again I don't know cr cr critical of how much they practice or how much you know hard work Will Smith puts them through they call the cops on them for like child abuse and there's just a brief scene cops come to the door after a practice they're practicing in the rain and that's really all there is to it there but the neighbors call the cops on him and that's when they start again this is at the time when they're getting another tennis coach so again at this time the Serena has a 63-0 record in juniors and then they get this new this new coach, how do they get the new coach? Again, because she has a record now, you know, she, Will Smith and, and Venus and the Venus and Serena characters, they, they have like leverage to, you know, negotiate a business deal. And even at the, like the, they, I would say the plot didn't develop that very well. Like obviously, 
again, I know the, the careers of the actual people, get household names, <laughs> certainly in America and tennis at all. I'd say probably most people, <laughs> but the it was I don't think the plot was really well played out as to you know get why Richard had so much leverage, especially at the beginning, and then he gets another coach. I think it's Paul. I think it's there's two, two people are labeled as Paul Cohen, so I don't know what's going on there. The second dude with the mustache. And they get a second coach. They have some negotiating leverage, and he basically offers them. You know, to come train again just on the agent type consignment deal. And then the the Venus and Serena and the, the Williams family have a counter offer and then they don't go through the contracts at all. But basically they move out of Compton, they go to Florida with a second um, tennis coach. And so they get like a motor home, they get a nice house in Florida, and now they're moving to Florida so Venus can, can practice with I think it's you know, Rick. I think it was Rick might have been the second one. I think Rick was the. I think Paul was the first one. And Rick was the second one. I'm guessing it doesn't matter. <laughs> but go to Florida. And right when they get from to Florida, Richard tells tells Rick that Venus will not be competing in juniors anymore until she goes pro. To like focus on her school stuff like that. Which, if that's true and accurate, I don't. I know it just that sounds kind of goofy to me. Even if you have your seventy page plan, obviously it worked. But again, if it's accurate, it's accurate. It seems strange as fuck in terms of like negotiating a contract. Like like literally the scene before that's when they hand out the contracts between each other, and then he gets to Florida, and Richard's like, "Yeah, man, we're just gonna not play tennis games anymore." So like, you know, I feel like that'd be a breach of contract at some point or somehow. Obviously, if it's accurate, obviously not. But that was just didn't strike me as so super consistent. I don't know what's going on there. Get to Florida, they stop playing juniors. Um, and it's like a like a, like a flash forward scene. You go ahead three years. And at this point, Venus is fourteen. And now, they again they talk about their grades and stuff. And I've talked about why I think you pick most people again. Big time sports star at fourteen versus an average person would be different. But I think money should be the first thing you make, even for for pet professional athletes. I mean, Ten million dollar contract. Obviously, they're going to get a financial advisor again if they have no idea how to manage money. Hard for me to really understand having somebody else manage my money, but for a 14-year-old, but like anybody in general in real life, $10 million contract, I'm a financial advisor, I say, here's $100,000, act like it's your last $100,000 as investment. Not, not like spending money, but as investment. Learn to manage the money. The age is not the problem. Managing the money is the problem. Managing your emotions, managing the money is the problem. Gary, you have to learn something for the first time. So that's what that's just what I would do, as as a money manager, as a financial, as a fiduciary. But so they stop playing games for three years, and then you know Rick's losing his mind at this because he's not going to make any money unless she goes pro. And then some tournament comes up, and she goes and. Uh, can, I forget which tournament, but she basically, you know, there's a professional tournament coming up. I mean, they don't make it very clear. There's a couple uh, junior tournaments. She wants to do those, doesn't play them, and then wants to do a professional tournament. And so they get signed up for that. At this time, they also get, like, walked in or they meet the president. This is at the Reagan time because there's, yeah, Nancy Reagan. There's Judith Chapman plays Nancy Reagan for a bit. But so they sign up for this other tournament. And then she gets an offer, again, like, commensurate to the other tennis star on the show. I don't, again, I don't know the other tennis player's name. But she gets offered, I think it's $2 million or $3 million. I think it's $3 million by Nike before her first professional game. And there's, like, there's a debate. Rick really wants to do it. Obviously, we made it, we made it, we made it. King Richard... At this point is now again really allowing Venus to make her own decisions along with the, the mother character, the Brandy Williams. And so Venus turns it down because she wants to, you know, show them, show them what they can do or like let her see her play or something. Because at this point she's not played for three years. Goes out the next day in the um, in, in the tournament, wins the game handily. Nike comes back and raises the offer to four million dollars. And the next day, she has to play the number one ranked girl in the world. And this is like at the end of the movie. And so, 
That happens. She denies it, goes out the next day, kind of like the final ending of the movie. And she's winning, winning, winning. I think she's up like six to two or six to three, wins the first set in women's tennis is best of three sets. And they she's winning, winning, winning. She's got the momentum. And what does what does the other opponent do? She ices her. The opposite of momentum is icing. And so just the other other competitor goes to the bathroom, waits for eight minutes, and then uh, comes back out when Serena ends up losing. And so that that was her big like that was her second professional game, and she she lost, was winning, lost, and then you know I should have won, I should have won in the locker room with Will Smith or with Richard Williams and Brandy Williams. Her and Serena go to walk out, and again at this point after like the first Compton scenes. I mean, at one point, Serena goes goes against. She signs herself up for a tournament just real quick and plays. But that's in the main character is Venus Williams. And after she loses her second match, professional to the number one person in the world, leaves the locker room, goes out, and then there's a big big celebration. Just being in, in the movie, get themes of you know being a role model for other young black girls, stuff like that. And there's just a bunch of fans for Serena. And they're all, or Venus, and they're all ecstatic and all happy, and it's kind of the end of the movie. And then at the end, you get, uh, I don't have the numbers written down, but it said she signed a $15 million or $12, $12 million deal at the age of 15. She won five Wimbledons. Um, Serena, 23 Grand Slam titles, joined the tour two years after her. And these are just like credit cut screens about you know what's going on. Now, you know, clearly Venus and Serena have had very prolific careers since then. So overall, I'm going to talk about some major themes of the movie, but I'll give you my ranking now. Overall, I will give this an A minus. Again, remember A is a novel idea, which is again, nothing, nothing super strict on my standards, but novel idea, novel story, right? This is actual real fucking people. So that's where, that's where the novelty comes from. Again, like I said, I like watching tennis. Big fan of tennis myself. I've played a little bit of tennis. I can serve fast. I can hit well. Very average, though. And if I practice, I can be a good at tennis. Um, but overall, A minus. Really liked it. And again, the only thing that attracted why why not an A? Um, just just because it could be accurate with the with the King Richard character. But again, that his consistency wasn't that great. So I'll talk a little bit about the characterization and just some other themes in the movie. So the, I wouldn't even say this is a major theme, but the beginning there's Compton, gang streets, just like, you know, Will Smith keeping his daughters off the streets. The, the, the second, I would say the major, the most relevant major theme of the movie was competitive sports parents. <laughs> like what people just going in the, there's several scenes where it's like at the junior tournaments, there's, you know, one of the pet competitors calls a ball that's out, that's in, and it's like, again, a 11-year-old girl's playing, it's the parent telling him to go call the thing out. And then, again, the Richard from going from practice, 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 hard work, hard work, hard work, to, like, again, the three-year pulling out of juniors, and, again, for education versus sports. Again, holistically, as an educator, I think this is the wrong avenue. Right, again, 14 year old, pr true prodigy, true, like, real big income, uh, different than like, your average 18 year old getting a trade school job or like, being, having any sort of income themselves. But I really think pairing biology, puberty time frame with making money, because people who can't make, like, right, it's like, you're, enjoy your high school, enjoy your college, go play games and have fun. It's like, if I had, and then, and then and focus on education at that point, too. Right, younger years, focus on your education. Education is primed for your older years, 100 fucking percent. And so, again, it could be accurate, just the consistency of the logic of Richard being really, really into practice and then really, really against, like, like all, again, all the stunts he pulls going to Florida and, and pulling them out of things, pulling them out of practice right before a tournament or something is in the movie as well. I just disagree with financially, as a financial advisor, as an educator, stuff like that. So that was the only detraction from an A, which is, again, the insecurity. The insecurity of other people in a movie in real life at any point in time drives me fucking bonkers. Even <laughs> accurate or not. Um, but competitive sports parents, and again, believe it or not, because I, I played a fuck ton of sports 
my my but they, my, my parents were like overly competitive about sports in general. I think p- competitive sports parents are fucking pathetic. Like if if you think twelve year old or thirteen year old really at any fucking level <laughs> is like the big me- meaningful thing of life is just dumb shit. Um, but another one again, I said competitive sports parents and managing money and making a major sports deal, right? She goes in there, gets offered $3 million and, you know, holds out, plays another game, not sure if she's going to get the deal or not, and then goes up to, again, gets offered $4 million, then $15 million is the ending credit. Uh, I don't know. It just depends. But, like, again, as a money manager, as an investor, you might make, again, I don't know, $500 million, a billion dollars of income at the highest level of sports um, income. Maybe a little bit more for the absolute highest level. But that's still no money in business. So it's like, when I see people like, should I sign the deal? Three million, four million, fifteen million. It's like, learn to invest. Learn to fucking invest. And the, the, those numbers just don't like, and again, like I said, you, you, obviously it worked out in the movie. Obviously it worked out. <laughs> but as an individual, I said, I want the cash flow, know how to manage the money. Even a sports career in general, you're going to get major endorsements and stuff. Know how to manage cash flow. Just like, fucking Christ. And again, 14-year-old actual prodigy getting signed at 15, diff, kind of a different story. But um, and I really think like even even like Richard and, and the parents clearly have control oh, when they're under 18. I think 18 is completely fine for sexual consent, for like just choice consent. I think 12, like sports stars. I don't think you should be I have to go to fucking high school or go be a professional. I don't think you have to go to college to go be a professional. I think that is extremely misguided from a policy standpoint. Um, but you're just negotiating a major sports deal. Should you sign the first three million dollars or try to, you know, negotiate up? Again, personally, just because I know how to manage money, I would take up the first stuff because again, three to fifteen million dollars is like one decent financial stock trade. So it's like those type of dollars would not like sway me one way or another on making a, a decision. Um, and then education versus sports, I already talked about a little bit. Again, make some money, feel financially stable, and your own curiosity will drive you to be educated. That is really, really true. But I, I'm not like hard, like, definitely be educated, definitely do sports, definitely do this, definitely do that. It's just like fucking grow up and do what you want. But I did, I, again, the only character in this movie I really like, detracted a little bit was the accuracy of, the, of, of King Richard. Big fan of Will Smith in every movie I've, watched, I've seen him in, most of them. Like, like, uh, was it Hancock, Pursuit of Happiness, I don't know, Will Smith's been everywhere. But, so there you have it, that is my review of King Richard. I gave it an A-, minus. definitely recommend it, go watch it. And I think watching the career of Serena and Venus Williams was very entertaining. So, there's my recommendation, and I hope you enjoy King Richard, my King Richard movie review. Thanks for watching.